Hello everyone, this is Jsync, and we are still playing XCOM. Last time we left off, um, we were playing this one. <laughs> and we had a base, and we had an, our base, an alien base, and a craft there, and we were attacking larger crafts of aliens, and they killed us. They took down one of our interceptors, and I think I got myself oriented enough that I can actually do stuff now. So, I believe what I needed to do was... This interceptor has two plasma beams. Where was he at last time? Sky Ranger, right. What about the other base? Right. This guy had absolutely nothing. Let's purchase something for him, shall we? Hmm. <coughs> uh, but, uh, what does he get? What does he get? He gets a craft weapon, which will be a interceptor. No. A can rounds? No. Tanks, rockets, no. Stingray missiles. Avalanche launcher. That's what we need. Not enough store space. Okay. We will purchase it from the other one. Avalanche launcher. Missile launcher. Avalanche missiles, avalanche launcher. We need two. And we have plenty of missiles, it seems. So we'll just keep that. Okay. And we also are probably getting another interceptor. Did I admit, did I buy one? I can't remember. I also learned that you can name your interceptors. So we will name this one. Ding dong. One. Nice. And... Apparently, we lost the Sky Ranger before, but I will always keep it Sky Ranger. Hmm. Still don't have any personal armor. I was watching the last video, and I realized that I didn't actually start making personal armor. Hmm. Where's my manufacturing? Now I am actually making personal armor. Excellent. Laser cannons would help as well. Hmm. Okay. What kind of UFO are you, sir? A very small one. Alright, ding dong one. Oh, you're in repairs. It seems as though I can't do anything except for watch you. So that's what I'll do. Hmm. A large USO. Can I intercept you? No. I can just hopelessly wait until you attack my base. Can I get you now? No. Oh man, this is not good. We have gotten ourselves into a predic predicament, folks. Okay. Let's transfer to CENTCOM some... What? I can transfer two plasma beams? Oh. This is hopeless. This is hopeless. No free hangar for transfer. Oh. Hmm. We're kind of stuck until our interceptor gets repaired. Ah! 
It's ready. And there are no aliens. Nice. Well, continue on, I guess. Production of general stores complete at Centcom. Excellent. Hmm. Transfer to Centcom to plasma rifles. Plasma beams, I'm sorry. Oh, $186, excellent. Plasma beams have arrived. Excellent. Hmm. Equip. Equip. Craft. Oh, you don't know how good that makes me feel. I'm so happy that now we have two plasma beams. No, I don't want to make a new base. Alright, I think we're ready. We also have that. Luckily, we have some stuff for it. We will give it an avalanche launcher and a laser cannon. That sounds excellent. Until we can secure ourselves some more illyrium. Or money, for that, for that sake. 650,000? That is not good. Hmm. All right, small, very high, to the northwest. We will definitely, absolutely take this out. Hmm. Interceptor 4 at CENTCOM is ready to go. I think this is going to absolutely annihilate, if it catches it, of course. Another one. Ding dong, can you go take out that one near Japan? No, you can't. Go to last known UFO position. Go to last known UFO position. Hmm. Interceptor 4. Select a new target. Attack that. Okay. Aha! We got one. Blow that thing out of the water, why don't you? And that is a wreck. We have a mission going on up here, which is maybe intercepted. We also have... That light is going that way, so yes, we do want to send the Sky Ranger out. Let me check something real quick. Soldiers. Soldiers are good. Equip craft. The Sky Ranger. Armor. Hmm. Seems that we can equip our higher ranking soldiers with at least some protection. The question is... Should we put them up front? Hmm. Hmm. Or should we put some personal armor up front? Maybe that will help out better. Seems we have a good mix of soldiers. They are equipped with laser rifles, although they could be equipped with heavy plasma. Hmm. I think we'll just continue with the strategy that I was using before. All right. Continue this. Ding Dong 1 is out of fuel, so he will go back. A large UFO on the ground. Hmm. 
Who are you? Hmm, ding dong zero one. Hmm, UFO comes back. Yes, Interceptor 4, why don't you take him out? Hmm, that's a big one. Standard attack. Ooh, that's a terror ship. Can it destroy it? Ooh, yes, we got terror ship down. That is excellent. Can you take out another one, Interceptor 4? What happened to my Sky Ranger? Hmm. Boy, this is a dilemma. I don't think I'm ready to take this on, even though it's crashed. And besides, it's about to be nighttime. Let's not push our luck, shall we? UFO crash lands. Excellent. That was a bigger one as well. Oh, we're not going to make it. Hmm. Patrol. Oh, man. <laughs> the aliens are winning, folks. Alright, well at least we'll assault this crash site with our meager laser rifles and no armor, only some armor, one flying suit. I thought we were doing well until I saw those bases and now I don't think that we're doing as well as I thought. And immediately we see mutons. This is going to go well. At least they're in front of us and I don't have to move. Should have equipped the plasma rifles. Okay. One down. And that took way too much time. Hmm. Count Dracula. May you please, sir, shoot this muton in the face. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. My god. Oh. He took about seven shots to the balls and still did not go down. Hmm. It's a larger craft than I thought it would be. Well, our first turn was decent and we blocked ourselves out of any other turn. Commander Roxy, can you turn around and see anything out the window? Apparently not. End my turn. It seems that the Muton has panicked. Seeing that his two friends were shot down in the process, Although he did not drop his weapon. And he has not panicked. And now he's shooting directly into the back of the Sky Ranger. Count Dracula, it's your turn to save XCOM. And you destroyed it and you also destroyed any hope of getting up to the top of that roof. I hope there are no more aliens up there. End turn. 
good news is we didn't see any aliens this turn. Bad news is we didn't see any aliens this turn. I'm always afraid to peek my head out and around the corner. Senior Ernius, who has m spontaneously changed sex from male to female from the last episode, may you please step out of the Sky Ranger and look around? Thank you. Hmm. And you don't see a thing. Very nice. Very nice. That means it's good for Count Dracula to come out, who's a female. Okay. Hmm. I think it's pretty safe to say that everyone should come out at this point. I say that, and if you're a fan of my LPs of XCOM, you will know that I am notorious for eating my words. Michel Tu, please step out of the Sky Ranger. Hmm. Wolverine, realizing that he's not an immortal, bravely steps out of the Sky Ranger and looks around does not see a thing. Immediately he turns to the right and ducks. Hmm. Tomboy, realizing that he's actually a girl, strolls out of the Sky Ranger and takes position next to the hedgerow Index. Hmm. And Rifter Osprey Black Widow Captain Miss Piggy and Commander Roxy Cower in the Sky Ranger because they're cowards. Enter. And it is very, very silent. From the back of the Sky Ranger, Commander Roxy screams to his men, You better look around that corner, or I will fire you. Being a good soldier, Bert looks does not see anything. And he walks bravely towards the UFO. Hmm. Senior Ermin Tomboy, would you cover Bert, please? Thank you. Count Dracula, who has proven himself very worthy in this fight, bravely peeks around the corner and sees nothing. And ducks. Wolverine will move with his buddy and cover this way. While Senior Airman Michelle goes around back. Oops. And takes a wrong turn and just does something really, really stupid and probably going to get herself killed. Great. Hmm. In turn. Hmm. Strange noises come from the UFO. Let's see here. Who's flanking? Count Dracula is looking this way. 
that means he is covered for Wolverine to come around this way. We need to get at least three to four soldiers at the entrance of the UFO to properly storm it. Excellent. Why don't you go back to where you're supposed to be after that unfortunate mishap, realizing that she has run faster than she expected. She peeks around the corner and sees nothing. And feeling exposed, she peeks in the door and also sees nothing. And she is out of breath. Okay. So this is clear, which means that we can move down this way. Thank you, Count Dracula. And you see that also that this whole area is clear, yet if someone comes around, you will be very vulnerable to attack. Ha! Bert has a bunch of units left, so he may at least provide some covering fire around this corner. And duck. And Tomboy will also provide covering fire and will also not have enough breath to get there. Not much this way, probably, being that this is the corner of the map. I'm going to venture to say that there's nothing on that side. But I'm going to keep Ernest aware of the situation. I heard some doors move. Now, Count Dracula is actually in a very good position to cover. I wonder how many time units that will take. Let's save an auto shot, would you? 22, 20, and you're covering that way. Excellent. Senior Airman and Bert will advance feeling safe from cover. He will smartly save an auto shot, as will Wolverine. And Senior Airman and Tomboy will move up as well. And that will end my turn, I believe. You are feeling kind of out of the fight, aren't you? Why don't you move this way? Look this way and duck. Thank you. Okay, I'm pretty convinced that everything is still in the UFO at this point. I do have to be careful though, because I am facing mutons. I do know that there are a few rifles up here. In the future, keeping a few higher end rifles in my inventory in the back of the Sky Ranger may not be such a bad idea.
being that mutons have appeared now. Although I should have known this because this playthrough already has me making plasma. Hmm. Our pl I already have a craft with plasma beams. So therefore I must be well in advance. Hopefully no mutons will pop out of that door. I am very lucky. Alright. Hmm. Kind of a nifty trick with this new open XCOM. Being able to open the door without actually walking through it. It sort of comes in handy sometimes. Okay. That wasn't so bad as last time we tried to kill something with a laser rifle. Bert peers down his rifle and sees two targets. He flips a coin and randomly chooses the one on the left. Firing three times, the target still stands. Wildly fires another volley. And the target still stands. <laughs> Feeling very nervous, Bert misses completely. Wolverine has some shots but does not want to provoke a reaction. Bert is out of time, and Tomboy is also out of time. End turn. Wolverine's heart skips a jump as he stares a muton in the face. Proceeding to not hit anything because of the extreme angle he's facing and the fact that his rifle is on his right side and not his left side. Bert fires. Three shots. Muton still stands. Five shots, another muton appears behind. Firing the rest of his rifle into the UFO. Bird is terrified to find that his adversary continues to stand. Risking a reaction fire to save his comrades, Tomboy moves one step forward. And gets shot in the face, however, is still standing. Firing wildly into the crowd, the entire team is terrified to see that both enemies are still standing. <sighs> Hearing their cries for help, the rest of the XCOM squad advances forward wildly with disregard for their own life back in the command center Miss Piggy and Commander Roxy are feeling very, very stupid for not helping their comrades and staying in the back of the Sky Ranger. Commander 
Commander Roxy herself uses her power of the flight suit to make best speed toward her dying comrades. Well shaken by what she has just seen, Count Dracula summons her strength and waits for the worst. The XCOM squad advances, hearing an explosion and fearing the worst. Sergeant Osprey sees the devastation and is terrified. Someone's getting court martialed for this. Captain Miss Piggy herself rushes towards the scene. Commander Roxy uses her ability to flank the enemy. Everyone seems to be too shaken to notice <laughs> that a muton has just exited the craft and is staring them blankly in the face as almost as it's opt obstinate Count Dracula fires three shots Muton fires back Sergeant Osprey fires two shots and takes it down Confidence is being restored as adrenaline takes over the squad. The squad surrounds the open area. Sergeant Black Widow knows he is in danger and retreats and Ernie rushes to take his position and ducks Commander Roxy contemplates going into the UFO alone but decides against it and takes position at the firing line waiting for something to happen on the next turn and nothing happens all XCOM squad closes in Michelle realizes that her squad is dead as does the rest of the squad Michelle decides to take point Count Dracula decides to help. Ernie, seeing his comrades moving up to avenge the fallen, 
moves into position. Sergeant Osprey also moves into position but is putting himself at risk. Commander Roxy tells two soldiers in front of her that no more is needed and commands them to stay despite their will willingness to move forward and nothing happens again One muton remains facing the wrong direction. Sergeant Osprey has a shot and fires, hitting the muton twice in the back. The force, actually three times in the back, four shot takes it down, and that's it. Four XCOM operatives killed due to incompetent leadership. Paperwork will be given. And Intel spikes with reports of new bases. promotions Sergeant Griffin no Commander Roxy's sole commander though barely Captain Miss Piggy Sergeant Black Widow Senior Airman Osprey is now sergeant has been sergeant for a while now sorry Black Widow is still Sergeant, Osprey still Sergeant, Squatty, Squatty, Squatty. Count Dracula has absolutely earned his stripe. And that's it. Everyone else is dead. <coughs> Commander Roxy, sadly with this slumber heart, Put in a requisition for four new soldiers. And also looks at her books and it does not look good. Her budget is not looking good. Huh. What can we do about the budget? Desperately trying to equip the soldiers. Overbuilding, overextending into a new base. Desperately scraping together money to buy a new interceptor. There is not much morale here at XCOM. Well, the good thing was, we did shoot down a terror ship. The bad news is we did not get to salvage it. And nor will we. Hmm. Judging from that last encounter, I would say... that we need to upgrade our, our, our firepower. Less people would definitely have died 
if we had more heavy plasmas in our arsenal. This may also solve some, but not all, of our money issues. Let's see. I don't want to get rid of these laser rifles, but we do have extras. How many extras do we have? Craft. We have an extra seven, basically. It's not enough. But we can sell off seven laser rifles. Two hundred fifty eight thousand, that's half a soldier. Half a soldier. Let's see if we got any corpses from that. Let's see here. Mine probes, we don't need those. Sectoid corpses, we definitely don't need those. Mutine corpses, don't need those. Plenty of alien alloys. Okay. Oh, we have a bunch of money now. <laughs> and let's make sure our interceptors are doing fine in the realm of equip equipment. And that is affirmative. We will name this guy Ding Dong 2. Awesome. Hmm. This guy, because he is part of a different squadron. Let's see. Will be named. Hmm. Dire Bat. One. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need three more soldiers. Can't remember if I actually purchased those three soldiers or not. Base information, possibly? Fifteen. Hmm. I can't remember if I purchased them or not. Well, that's pretty much all for now. That was a pretty good episode. Hopefully you can hear me. And until next time, this is Jstank. Signing out.